to introduce you into the Iron Church Qigong. I want to summary a little bit about the Tao system. Okay? <clears throat> the basic system of the Tao system, we have the microcosmic, we have the healing love, and we have Iron Qigong. All these three basic practices is utilize the circle, the, the circulation of the energy in a circle. In the microcosmic, we do, we try to circle the energy, draw the energy from the mid eyebrow down to the navel, and circle the energy down and up to the spine, up to the head, and down the front, and down to the tongue, and down to this way, in a circle. In the Iron Church Qigong, we utilize the same microcosmic again. We use the same microcosmic. The Iron Church Qigong is involved, one is the organ exercise. The, uh, the next one is involved with the structure. So this is involved with the structure and the energy spiraling. Uh, our body, if you look carefully about our body, our body like a tire. We have three layers, one layer, two layer, three layer, and each layer have a fascia. Each layer have a fascia layer there. Okay? And this fascia it look it, it like a plastic, it like plastic or elastic rubber. It's protecting us. You see the, the white thing between the muscle and the layer. It's called a fascia layer. And the layer can be blow up and can be expand or contract down. <coughs> can expand or contract down. Now, so this three layer is work like this. I show you a three layer. So the, we have the first layer. We have a second layer, and we have a third layer. Between the layer, we have a diaphragm. It's also a fascia mixed with the muscle. And divide this one, and the organ is in here. So we have the organ inside here. We have the liver. We have the spleen. We have the kidney. We have the pancreas. And we have the heart here, and we have the lung here. It's all contained in the layer. Now, in olden time, they discovered that we have a chi pressure. So we call it chi pressure. Chi pressure. The chi pressure is make us maintain up in a shape. When you lose the chi, you don't have pressure. So when the people are so depressed, all the chi lose out and they get into a structure of depressed. There, right? Look at the people, you know they're depressed enough. If the people walk like this, or sit like this, okay? They're depressed, there, right? If the people sit like this, or walk like this, okay? What? They are so angry. The anger energy shape them into an anger energy, into a very angry, you know? The same thing is in here. The energy is the one that shapes us. They said we have a 14.7 power per square inch, PSI, power per square inch. The air outside also 14.7 14 power per square inch, and the inside have to nearly build the same pressure, is that right? We have the same pressure inside. The inside also 14.7 pound per square inch. Okay? If the pressure is loosened, we get weak and sick. Simple. Because everything in the body moves or not is involved with the pressure. So we have to constantly breathe in the air to maintain a power pressure per square inch. When we exhale, you loosen and lessen a little bit power pressure. When you inhale, 
you're increasing more power pressure. If you can inhale longer, the power pressure increasing. If we can increase more power pressure, the chi is going to flow faster, the blood is <coughs> going to flow faster. Okay? Now, interesting is when a young people or healthy people, the chi pressure is a lot. When the people get sick, everything is go down. We got a power pressure from outside pressing in. Energy don't flow, blood don't flow, circulation don't move. So they discover that if you can increase a power pressure per square in, in the organs, you will <coughs> increase the efficiency of the organs. So we need to increase a power pressure per square in inside the organ first. And we're going to expand the power pressure per square in out into the, into the uh, cavity into the cavity, okay? And later on, we're going to expand it into a layer, fascia layer. Now, if you have an egg, if you throw an egg on the floor, what happens? Break. break. If you put an egg in a balloon, you throw it, it's still going to break. But if you put another bigger balloon in here, and you put another bigger balloon in here, now you can kick it, you can step it, you can do anything with it. You're not going to break the egg. Right or not? Right? Because the air pressure protecting it. This is the same thing in the olden time. They discovered this thing in the, in the beginning is for uh, esoteric practice in order to get more energy. Then on they discovered that they can protect themselves when the people punch or people hit them. They bounce it out. So they don't get hurt. But this nowadays, in olden time, they can practice extremely until the weapon or people cannot hit them. So they call Iron Church. Okay? And uh, the other day, we were teaching there, and uh, a lady said, they want iron skirt. Also, <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes we say iron shirt and iron skirt. <laughs> so they protect this here, iron skirt. Okay? And, uh, and the, uh, now, <coughs> The very simple way is that we, you want to get a, a good energy flow, energy expanding, you must have a good structure. The good structure is the one that maintains the energy flow. So the Aichi Qigong is very, very emphasized in the good structure. And the Aichi Qigong is the standing or still position of the Tai Chi. The Tai in our Tai Chi that we teach. And the Tai Chi is the moving form of the Iron Church. So every, every structure, you have to be there. Every movement, you must have one structure, and you can transfer the force. Okay. So the navel is right in here. I hope you know it. And... Uh, the navel is the place where you will draw the energy from outside. We're going to draw the energy from outside right into the navel. And we're going to start the energy and flow. The navel like a battery that store the energy. And the mid-eyebrow is like a place you can draw the energy into it. And you can draw it down. Okay. And the navel also uh, work as the uh, collection energy. But collection energy. So now we're going to work on um, the navel is a starting point and the ending point also. Start point and ending point. Very important. The, the perineum, we have the uh, whole part of a lady, the whole part. The perineum, so we have the anus and between the anus and the sexual organ we call front part of the perineum. So this whole part from here is called the front part of the perineum, including the sexual organs. And the anus itself, we call a middle part. The middle part. And the anus and the, co anus and the back part between the coccyx, we call the back part, back. The back part of the perineum. Okay? We, ha we have to, this is very important. We're going to do a lot, a lot, a lot of exercise of this. Okay? If you look at 
another another part in the side view this way. In the side view this way. Here is the coccyx. Is that right? And here is the anus. And here is the sexual organ. Here the male sexual organ. So whatever whatever you have. So <laughs> Okay. So between the sexual organ and the anus we call our front part. Front part. The anus itself we call the middle part. The anus and the coccyx we call a back part. Okay? Front, middle, and back. Oh here, yeah. front, middle, and back. Get it? Very important because I tell you, you're going to do so much exercise on the perineum and I make sure you're going to fall in love with your anus and your perineum. <laughs> you're going to do so much and, uh, and, uh, until you have to fall in love with it. Because all the, the whole thing is that we have to draw the energy from this part. There's so much energy in this area. We have to draw this energy from this part all the way up into the spine. And there's a whole goal that we're doing here. The second point is right in this area. And this is called second pump. In the Taoism, we regarding the second is the most important part. Why? Because this is the, the big side and, uh, and last time. The second is still in this way. And the second, it has a movement by itself. It's very small movement. Okay? And it's the, how you pump the fluid, the fluid in the brain. So when it comes down, it has to be feed the nutrition to the nervous We have so much nervous system in the spine. And the, nut the nutrition, the white fluid that in the spine is the nutrition carry on. And try to feed the, uh, the, sec uh, uh, the, the, the nervous system. And the pump, when you're breathing and you move, the pump is moving and it pumps the fluid up and down. Otherwise, the fluid go down and don't go up. And we're going to get trouble. Now... The next one is the T11. The T11 means thoracic 11. It's a lot of nerve branches on the back here. So opposite of the solar plexus. How to find the solar plexus? You put your hand on the navel, put your hand on the tip of the sternum. Right on the tip of the sternum, the sharp tip of the sternum, you break in the middle, that is solar plexus. Right opposite the solar plexus is the T11. Or you bend your back down. You, some people may have one bone stick out longer, but two out more than the other people. That is the T11, or we call it a thoracic 11. If you don't have it, don't worry, okay? You can find another way by grabbing your last floating ribs. Your last floating rib. When you follow the last floating rib to the back, that is the T12, mean thoracic 12. From thoracic 12 come out one inch is T11, thoracic 11. T11 opposite the adrenaline gland. So the T11 is the adrenaline gland center. The adrenaline gland is very interesting. That in, in a Taoism, in the way I, I, I studied the Taoism, I like the way the Taoism proportionally, slowly, and strengthening, not drain out the adrenaline gland. The next one is C7. C7, when you bend your back, bend your head down, you feel one big bone stick out. One big bone stick out. Very big bone, right on the base of your shoulder. Now, from there, we come up to the base of the skull. Right on the top here. When, if right between here, if you bend your back, head back this way, you feel a hole there, right in here. Okay? The crowd point, Apparently, it's involved with a pineal gland point. It's right on here. It's about three inches from the brain down. 
if you draw a line from the nose straight up and the ear up and right in the middle here, you're going to see few a point. Apparently, it's this point. If you see the crack here, it's about this point. Okay? About this point. And that is called a crowd point. If you drill a hole right from here down about three inches, you're going to meet a pineal gland point. And now you come down to the solar plexus, right in the between in the other organ, right in here. The solar plexus. Okay? The navel is right on this point. One thing we need to work on first is the kidney. Yeah, the kidney. The kidney it work entirely depending on a pressure. Okay? If you look at the kidney very carefully, you look at the kidney very carefully. The kidney like a filter and the and the only one way can make them flow is the pressure from the from the circulation and the outside pressure. And it works. <coughs> Now, if you look carefully here, the kidney. Here's the kidney. Okay, the kidney is the blood flow in, and they filter out, filter out all the waste material, the uric acid, the toxic, and the urine out. But when the when the people don't move the pressure inside, don't don't have enough, the the the, the blood flow into the kidney takes so long to flow out, so the so the toxic stay in the kidney. And it started to clot and crystallize into a crystal or something clot in there. And we get kidney stone or get blockage in the kidney. And you know what happened? People so much, people are so much now a day, the kidney failure. People get up to 30 or 40 years, the kidney become quarter death because of block with the energy and the uh, other thing block in there. Now, so they discovered that if the people can activate the kidney, expand the kidney, press the kidney, you're going to get better. Why? Because the kidney is the one that filters the, 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 the blood and gives you chi, gives you life force. Is that right? If the kidney don't filter the, the, the oxygen, and filter the waste material and the toxic out of the blood, the blood cannot carry any oxygen anymore. There's no way to carry it, and we don't have energy. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to exercise the kidney. Now, again, <laughs> we're going to go back to the perineum. <laughs> the perineum, the perineum, uh, we get a big perineum here, big perineum. And the, another big perineum in here, Uh, here the coccyx, here the anus, and here the sexual organ, man and woman, okay? So this one is the front part. Now we're going to learn another part. Front, middle, back, is that right? Now we're going to learn another part we call the left and right. The left anus and the right anus. If you look this way, let me look this way to me. That like this. So this way is the left, and this way is the right. Right or not? This is the, in the bottom, you look to me this way. Okay? So, in here. In a thousand, we're regarding the perineum is so important. <laughs> Why? Because it's the flaw of your, <clears throat> it's the flaw of your all organs. It's the flaw of it. Simple. You see? If the Tao master discovered that the left side of the perineum connecting with the left kidney. People have so much organ drop down, especially kidney. Ladies have the most. When they're pregnant, the baby press the kidney and the organ dis, dis, mispress. And oftentimes, the kidney is going to be lower. When the people are weak and sick, the kidney is going to be lower. The stomach lower, the kidney lower, everything drop down. Why? You got no energy uplift them. So the same thing that the left side connecting with the left kidney and all the way connecting to the spleen, to the left lung, to the left brain, to the left eyes. Okay? Now the right anus, right side, 
It's a very small area, but very important. It's connecting with the right kidney, with the liver, with the lungs, and with the la right brain. Right ear, right eyes. Okay? Now, if we know it, we can do a lot of things. Incredible things. Tell you, incredible things. You're going to learn a way to squeeze the kidney. You learn a way to spiral the energy in the kidney. You learn a way to energize the kidney. Why important the kidney? But the kidney is one of the things going to give you back your good health. Filter the blood, filter the toxic out of it. Okay? When you do it, one thing I want to warn you is do it slowly, softly, and you don't get pain in there. Because a lot of muscle you never exercise. There's so much muscle in this area, you never did it, or you never touch it, and you never even do it at all. So we're going to do it. So now, let's sit up properly. Let's do the front middle and back first. And we can do the left side. You cannot miss it. Okay? In up the front, we did it. Anus. Back. Hold it. Exhale. Now you maybe have more awareness of your anus now. On the left side of your anus, if you want to use your hand, touch a little bit. Use your hand, touch it a little bit. Okay? On the left side. And inhale, contract on the left side. You, you can do it or don't do it, cannot do it, don't worry. Just do it, that's all. Okay? Inhale, pull up the left side. And contract the left side, hold it, hold it, exhale. Now aware your left eyes, eye, left ear, left nose, okay? And inhale, pull up the left side, get it higher, get it higher to the left side. Exhale. Just close your eye and just aware your left side. Just close your eyes and aware your left side. And compare your left side with the right side. Compare your left side with the right side. Let's do once more. Left anus, in up, up. In up, up more to the left side, aware your left eye, left ear, all the way up to the left side. Don't put too much force, you can get pain inside. Exhale. Aware your left side. Compare your left side with the right side. Can you see? Can you start to feel something different? Hmm? How you feel on your left or uh, right side? Huh? Sleepy. Sleepy. And how about your your left side? More light. More light. That right? Yeah, right. More lively and more lighter, that right? Okay, now let's do it. Now we're going to pour the energy in the kidney because we know the left end is connecting with the whole left side. So now we're going to concentrate right into the kidney. Put your hand above your navel and inhale. Expand the stomach out and put the other hand out to the left side. Out to the left side. Inhale. Expand out. Now. Inhale. Again. But pull back. To the back. And that is your kidney. Okay? When you pull back, that is your left kidney. Now. Inhale. Pull up your left anus. When you pull up and you pull into the stomach this way, when you feel something right in the between, that is your kidney. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Inhale. Inhale on the left side. Inhale. Pull back. Inhale. Pull up your anus. On the left side of the anus. 
what to your left side where your stomach pull in tighter exhale inhale exhale just close your eye and aware of your left side the left kidney if you think so you know it compared with the right kidney compared with your right kidney is there anything different? it's more of a smile Oh, that's nice, then. <laughs> you feel more awareness of your right kidney and your left kidney, or not? Warmer. More awareness, there, right? Now, we're going to do the next exercise. We're going to pull the energy up, and we're going to spiral the energy into the kidney. So we're going to draw the energy up, and we're going to spiral. So we draw the left side up, and spiral the energy around the kidney around the kidney. We call pack, push, and spiral. You see? When you pull this way in and you pull up, you squeeze the kidney. And when you spiral this way, you energize the kidney. And when you're releasing it, the energy flow into the kidney. You might, well, might not feel it in the beginning, but later on when you get used to you feel the energy go up. Use your mind like this to spiral. Use your mind spiral it. And you actually, the energy is there in the spiral. The mind is very powerful. Okay, are you ready? Inhale, pull up. Inhale. Left side. <coughs> pull back. Inhale, pull up. Left side. To your kidney. Inhale, spiral. You feel something on the back. Spiral it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now, exhale. That is your left kidney. How you feel? Okay. How you feel with the right kidney? Shall we just leave the right kidney alone? No. no. Huh? <laughs> you're not allowed to do it. The right kidney. Otherwise, you're gonna walk one side heavy and one side light. That right? <laughs> okay. Put your hand on your right side now. Inhale. Expand. Okay, inhale, pull back, and that is your right kidney. Okay? It's very, very exact. If you do it right, it's not, not much missing. Inhale, pull up your right anus. If you don't know where your right anus, put your finger on the right part of your anus. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale. Inhale, pull up. Inhale, pull in the, the stomach. Inhale, pull up the right side. Hold it. Inhale, spiral the energy into the kidney. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, rest. Breathing. Bone breathing is very important. Bone. Okay? Look like a bone, huh? Bone breathing. Now, they discovered that the bone uses a lot of oxygen. And the bone is the one, the bone marrow is the one that producing blood and a white blood cell to fight the disease, right? Now, uh, with this one, this way, when the uh, when we have to when we grow up, the bone marrow become hollow, the bone become hollow, and the bone marrow become very little. So what happened? We become fractured. And we're producing less bust and uh, white bust cell less and less and less growth longer. Now, when you can breathe the energy in air into here, you will start it to regenerate and build up the bone marrow again. So this whole thing that is very important. The bone marrow 
啊、uh, ，exercise apparently is in ing qigong part three, ing qigong part three, but we try to bring it into here now to do the bone marrow. When you're holding your breath and standing in this position for a while, five minutes or six minutes, and you hold your breath for a while, the body started to open. Because you stop the breath, and the body says, "Hey, what happened to the? What happened to this guy? He's not breathing." Okay. So the body started to find an alternative way to breathe. So it started to open the skin. The skin we have many holes in the skin. We have hair and hold them. And this part you can draw the energy from outside into the bone. So when you rest, inhale, exhale, inhale, draw the energy into the bone. Exhale. Inhale, draw the energy into the bone. Exhale. Like that. Now the next thing we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna put it into the structure. We're gonna put it in the structure, okay? Um, um, I'm gonna show you the structure, okay? Let's get a big guy. How about you? Easier, okay? Now what we're gonna do here? If the structure, if I can make a structure right. I can transfer his foot to the ground. The hand is the one that the first thing we're going to do is the hand. If I move my hand this way, okay, I just show you first. Put your hand, one hand on here, and put your hand, one hand on here, and push me. Harder, harder, as hard as you want. Harder, harder, more, more, more. Okay. So now I show you why. When he push me, I align myself in one line. And he pushing like pushing a stick. He pushing me like a stick. So what happened to his force? If you pushing a stick, it go to the ground. If my if I not alignment, okay. If I push this way, I go. I no way, absolutely no way to do it. So now in one with the C seven again. When I push my C seven, I sink my chest down, and I extend my scapula out. I am aligned my hand with the scapula, with the shoulder, with the scapula, with the C7, and it transfer the force down to the ground. Okay. So you look at my C7 again. Push. More. Okay. No matter what you push me, the force go to the ground. I don't have to do absolutely anything. All I have to do is hold my structure. I don't use force. I don't do anything. I talk to you. Normal. He can push as much as he want. The force go to the ground. Okay. Now I show you once more. Come here. When I push my head stick out this way, push. The force go right to my neck. Okay. When my when I don't do the C seven, that what we just did. We just did. Okay. The force don't go right to my neck. But when I push my neck this way, the force transfer. The force transfer now. Okay. Push. The force transfer now. I don't push. I don't. That's <laughs> nerves now. Huh? <laughs> you get tired. <laughs> yeah, you can feel it. You cannot push me. That right? Because the force go direct to the ground. Now, when I so the next thing is the neck have to be straight. The next thing is my back this way. Push me. I have no way to hold. Not even one slightly any energy. I can know it because it's stronger. No, you could do it, but you. No, the the back go this way. I cannot do it. But if I get my back straight, that what we learn. So no matter what he push, keep on pushing, and that's sure. No matter what he push, the force it go down to the ground. When my spine is right, now again, if my second two this way, you, I show you when my second two this way, okay. It keep on go to my second, and it pull pull pull. Finally, I have to go back into my second. I chill, but if I chill my second straight this way, fall go to the ground. Again, so the same thing that what we did, the spine. Because when you have a curve, the energy can go right into the spine, and it's stuck there. Like a stick, when it curve, you push on block, it break. All right? When the stick is straight, you cannot break the stick. Now. The next one is my knee. If my knee curve in, my knee curve in push. The force go into my knee. 
Okay? The four go my knee. When my knee go out this way, like spiral, like screw, screw out. Right screw, screw out. I'm gonna show you later on. The first go to the ground again. My neck right, my spine right, my leg right. I don't have to do anything. I can sing song, I can do anything. He cannot push me. I don't know even use any force to fight against him. If I bow him back, he go. Because I get the same force that he pushed on me, get him back to him. And the same force again. I can double the force also. And boom, he go. Because the same force, they push me. Now, come and push me on the, on the leg here. Yeah, both hands. When my knee this way, when my knee this way, I go out. Now with a very simple way, I press my leg and I screw out this way. Harder, harder. So when he push this way, the force go to the ground. See that? With a very simple structure movement. This one happens so much in your day, every daily life. People try to push a table this way. Okay? When you try to push the table this way, you go. If I try to push the table this way, I have force. I can move him. I can move him very far. <laughs> See? So now he just know how to use the structure. <laughs> so you see that? <laughs> so if not to use structure, then force go to the ground. Or if you're pushing, if you're pushing things with the knee go this way, all the force goes to the knee and you get hurt. Or if you push your back with the second two and you push this way, all the force goes to the second and you hurt yourself. If you don't, or if you don't sink your chest, you're pushing thing, you're pushing this way, you're gonna hurt your back. If you're pushing things this way, all the force comes to the ground, and you can get more force to push the thing. Because when you press that, you get more force to push the body. But when you do this way, all the force, like when I'm pushing this way, I'm pushing the, all the force go to my back. <clears throat> Why in the chair, in the back, and it get hurt. But I push this way, and more force. I don't hurt, I get more force. Okay? So the structure is very important. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get a structure right. Okay? The structure right is this way. So the first thing is chest sink. Sternum sink. You activate the thymus gland. If you do this way, yeah, nothing happens. But you sink, chest sink, hand extend, hand round, the hand spiral. You see the hand spiral? And the back straight, back not curved this way, back straight. C7 straight. Feel you being pulled up this way. Feel that a force pull you up this way. And feel a force pull you down this way. So your butt, so your spine have to be straight. So the same thing that we did, spine straight, T11, uh, T11 straight, C7, best of scalp straight. And now the leg spiral out a little bit. Press and spiral, not too much, just a little bit. And you get a structure. Okay? Now, when you go home, if you have this structure with you and practice the structure, you will save your life. Save your back, save your neck, save your scapula, save your shoulder. Believe me. Okay? So we're going, to, we're going to stand up, and this is where we're going to do. We're going to get a partner, get a structure right first. So the partner stand, and you try to stand this way. With the back, with the hand go this way, and stand on this way. So the partner should be touching you. The back here should be touching, and here should be touching, and here should be touching. If your head go this way, it's not right. The head has to touch you on the shoulder, the second touch your, your hip, and the back touch here, and the, this one, the C7 touch here, and this one touch here. Okay? Now, it's the right structure. Now, when you stand, have to spread out and screw out. It screw out outside, both legs screw outside. So you can go here and push the leg. And it's a firm. Structure is firm. Okay? And the way to test the structure firm or not, 
If the people sit, stand this way, one hand on the shoulder and one hand on hip, push it steadily this way. Okay? When it break the structure, you know what part he, he have to build, have to be practiced more. So get the structure right and push. Give him some thought, but not, don't knock her or him out. The whole, the whole purpose is not try to knock him out, but let her or him to build up a force. So now he weak this way, now I give him a little bit force so she can more structure on the force. It's a hold for a while until he can feel, he can transfer the force, adjust the structure, make it straight, make it right. Okay? So, and we change to the back here also the same. Get the structure right, and we're going to do the packing and breathing process. See? And release. Okay. okay? So get a partner and practice on. Okay? Testing. Testing more. Testing more. Testing more. Testing more. more. That's it. See that? Yeah. One thing you can see, you know, is the wall. The wall is the best feed up, feedback for you. You get home on the wall, stand your feet about shoulder width, and try to get your second press back to the wall. T11 press to the wall. The C7, the chin pushed up this way. <coughs> try to feel it one, one wall touching the whole wall. And your hand out, we call embracing a tree. Embracing a tree. Okay? Now, when you feel your back straight, this is the position you're going to get energy flow. And we're going to do the breath, packing breathing process. Get your structure right. This is a stand you can stand up to one hour. But people, if you can stand up 10 minutes, excellent. Okay? 10 minutes a day is going to build so much power for you. At least 10 minutes. 5 minutes to 10 minutes is very important. Okay? Get the structure right, stand. Now, when you're ready, you're going to inhale. We call energizing breathing. When you do energizing breathing, you have to feel your sexual organ move up and down. Okay? For ladies, you can feel the, the vagina open and close. For men, you can feel. When you exhale, you feel you pull up your sexual organ. Now, drop down, exhale. We call energizing breathing. You can go 20, 30, or 36 times. Low, must low, not here, and here. When you're ready, exhale. So we're going to exhale first. Exhale. 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 Exhale until no air inside you. So all the air pressure go. And your stomach go back nearly touching the kidney. Go back all the way nearly touching the kidney. Now, we're going to inhale. The first inhale, we're going to pull up the perineum. That's what we did. Exactly what we did now. Inhale, pull up the perineum. Left and right perineum toward the kidney. When you inhale, you still keep the stomach in, press toward the kidney. So you exhale, exhale, inhale, pull up the left and right anus to the left and right kidney. Hold it, pack it, squeeze it. You can keep on squeezing your kidney, okay? So squeeze your kidney, hold it for a while. Now, the next thing is difficult. You're gonna inhale, Put your mind in the lower abdominal and expand the lower abdominal out. And now push the abdominal down. So it's going to be this way. You expand all to the kidney. Here the kidney, you've been packed in the kidney. And now when you finish, you're going to inhale, push the air pressure you've been built out down to the perineum by building a ball in here. And we're going to inhale once more, pull up the perineum. This is very important. If you do it right, right away you feel a grounding. When you do it right, so you see, I, I start over again. Energized breathing. Exhale. 
Exhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull up. Left and right kidney. Hold it. Hold it until you feel <coughs> you cannot hold anymore. Inhale. See the ball come out. Inhale, pull up the perineum. And you're going to breathe into the kidney. You expand the kidney. Okay? And so you pull up and you push down. And you hold it, hold it. When you pull up and you push down, you're going to open the leg growth. You're going to open the leg from here to the ground. To the ground. You're going to open that root, the leg root this way. Okay? Now, you open the leg root. Now, when you're ready, you exhale. The energy should right down to the ground. And you're going to open in the leg channels. And you're connecting with the earth energy. And you're going to breathe in. Okay. The, uh, you're going to, when you do breathing, it's very important breathing on the side. Okay, I show you, I'm going to show a few of you and we're going to do it together. Come up, two, two men. And two men on this side come up. And then two men. Or maybe two ready in this side. So we let lady have a chance. These two ladies are here. I'm going to show you that the kidney breathing. Put your finger on me. Both, both of you on me. And both of you on me on this side. You see, when I expand, I loosen my push in. Now I loosen myself. Okay? Now when I inhale, push in. Push in. Harder. Now I, I so you push in, you see that? Now I expand myself, my, I loosen myself. See? Now I breathe into again. I expand my kidney again. Push hard. See that? Now I loosen myself again. See the air on the back? So you see here? See that? This is very important. When you're breathing, it's not expand to the front. Not this way. I cannot do that. Expand to the front. But when I'm breathing, I expand round. So I expand this way. We call the energized kidney breathing. Okay? So you put your hand here, everybody. Stand right, everybody. Now aware of your left and right anus. You now pull up your left and right anus to the to the left and right kidney. You can pull this way, this way. Pull up to the kidney. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now aware of your lower abdominal. Inhale. Okay. Inhale down lower abdominal. You now pull up the perineum. Hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now aware of your bone in your hand. Inhale, draw the energy right into your bone. Exhale. Inhale, draw the energy into your bone. You might feel something in your bone if you do for a while. You feel heat build up, feel a funny bone in your bone. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You may feel hot if you hold for a while. If you go home, you stand here for 5, 10, or 15 minutes, you get tremendous benefit. The energy build up. Rest. Put your hand, put your leg together. Put your hand in your navel. Man can use the right hand cow the navel. Woman can use the left hand cow the navel. It can be interchangeable also if you don't feel right. So, use your mind to draw the energy into your navel. Rest. Shake your hand. Shake your leg. Okay, sit down. So when you 
when you pack the kidney and the perineum and pull up, when you exhale, push down, exhale, you let the energy flow down to the, la to the feet, to the ground. And you're going to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and do the bone breathing. Now, when you're ready, again, start over again. When you're ready, we're going to go up from the stroke, up to the head, up to the perineum. So exhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, pull up, left and right kidney. Pack it, squeeze it, play with it. When you're ready, inhale. Push the ball down, the same thing again. Inhale, pull up. When you pull up, you draw the energy the same time you suck and draw the energy from the earth to the soul. Hold it. If you can take the breath, you can spiral night time in the feet. Okay? If not, just inhale, pull up the energy into your soul. Hold it for a while, inhale, pull up to your knee. Spiral the knee. Spiral like screw. It's very important. <coughs> Feel like a screw. So screw to the ground. And hold on the knee, inhale, up your perineum, pull up and push down. Hold it, hold it, hold it, exhale. Inhale, exhale, bone breathing, soul breathing, and palm breathing. Feel your body expand, 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 and draw the energy in. Your body, when you hold your breath, your body expand <coughs> like a big, 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 big balloon. When you exhale, you draw the energy from all over, head, front, leg, in. So that's why you require the microcosm. You feel the energy here, feel the energy here, feel here. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, bone breathing. Now the third part. The third part. When you're ready, exhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, pull up, left and right kidney. Pack the kidney. Squeeze the kidney. When you're ready, inhale. Push the ball down, pull up. Now we're going to bring up to the spine. Bring up all the way to the spine. So. When you're ready, inhale. Pull up from your back, second, tilt. Inhale. Up to the T11. Now, the only difference is we're going to expand <coughs> a chi belt. We're going to expand a chi belt. Very, very important. Okay? When you pull up from your back, second, tilt. Inhale, pull up to T11. Expand a chi belt. Expand the chi belt to the front, like a belt. When people wait lifting, lifting weight, they have a belt here. So they're expanding, so their body don't push out too much. So the big, big band of belt. That is exactly the same. When you come up to T level, you expand, expand, and let belt come up. Now, and if you can spiral, you can spiral on each part that you do. But you cannot go ahead. So inhale up to the C7. Sing your chest on the C7. You can spiral also. If you are out of breath, you can exhale a little bit and inhale. Inhale, cup to your C7, a base of scalp. Inhale up to the crown. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, bone breathing, soul and palm breathing. And feel the energy draw into you. Because the, the skin is going to open because you hold the breath that long. And the body says, hey, what happened to him? So it's out there to find alternative breathing. The head, here, all this part is open and you draw the energy in. The body always finds alternative way to do something when, when they feel something is wrong. You know? And they're forced to open all the skin, forced to open <coughs> all the point, and you can draw the energy in. And if you can stand, just after you finish, you change so much energy. So inhale, draw an energy in, exhale. Inhale, draw an energy in, exhale. And stand. If you can stand 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, gradually increase. Half an hour, one hour, two hours. I don't think anyone will go up to two hours, right? <laughs> but if you can stand half an hour, beautiful, the energy coming so much over to you, and you fight against the gravity, and the bo you have to relax when you stand. Relax, and you fight against the cavity, and you draw so much energy. Over. Okay? So let's stand up and do it. <coughs> Try to get the right position. Are you ready? Sing that a little bit. The groin open. This one is not open. Like this is opening the groin. By tilt to the back, 
and open this way. The opening not going. Okay? Round. Elbow sink, shoulder sink, chest sink, chin, T11, sacrum, straight. The pinky finger tilt in a little bit. Now, are you ready? Inhale. Exhale. <clears throat> the sexual organ also. You ready? Exhale. 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 Inhale, pull up. Left and right kidney. And wear your lower abdominal. Inhale, push down. Inhale, pull up the perineum. Feel your soul activate. Exhale. Down to the ground. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Bone breathing, soul and palm breathing. Are you ready? Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, pull up, left and right kidney, pack to the kidney. Inhale, aware of your lower abdominal. Push out, inhale, pull up. At the same time, draw and suck the energy from the earth to the soul. Aware of your soul. Hold it. Put your mind and energy in the soul. Now, aware of your knee. Inhale, draw, pull up the perineum, draw the energy to your knee, and spiral the energy like screw, screw down to the ground. Feel your body expand bigger and wider like a balloon. Big, big, big balloon. Inhale, pull up to the perineum, pull up tighter. Relax the chest. Relax the chest. Feel your body expand more bigger now. Bigger, bigger, wider. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax everything. Just quietly inhale. Draw the energy into your bone. Feel your funny bone. Exhale. Inhale, feel, draw the energy right into your bone. Exhale. You may feel a lot of hand opening, and so opening, and head opening, energy drawing. Now exhale. The, the last time now. Exhale. 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 Are you ready? Inhale, pull up left and right kidney. Pack in your kidney. You can shake a little bit if you want. Now, inhale, push the ball down. Inhale, pull up the front part, perineum. Inhale, pull up the anus. Inhale, pull up the back. Inhale, tilt your sacrum. Hold it in your sacrum. Inhale, T11. Push the steel on straight. Now, inhale, expanding the back. Like a bell, we call it chi bell. The whole bell, like chi expanding. Very important. Now exhale a little bit, inhale. Inhale up to your C7, sink your chest more. If you cannot, exhale a little bit, inhale. Feel your body expand like big, 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 big balloon. Relax your chest, everybody. Now, inhale, best of scout. Exhale a little bit, inhale. Inhale up to the crowd, look up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, slowly inhale, exhale, draw the energy right into your bone, draw the energy right into your bone, draw the energy right into your bone, draw the energy right into the bone. Rest. Just stand quietly. At home, you stand 5, 10 minutes. That is the most beautiful time when you stand 5 to 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Beautiful. Just rest. And just let your body lie spun, absorb the energy in. Right into your bone. And later on, you forget all your muscle. All you have is bone. Believe me, ready. Don't you just stand there and just think, where is my muscle? Everything you have is bone. 
and the bone is absorb the energy like sponge. Shh. Exhale. You know. Shh. Exhale. Turn the head, mid eyebrow, the soul. Now you can stand as long you want, but now just rest. Put your leg together. Put your hand in your navel. Lady cover the navel with the right hand. <coughs> Man with the left hand, and spiral the energy. No, uh, reverse. So either way you can do it. Just spiral the energy, keep the energy in the navel. Rest. Okay. So now, when you get the energy, get everything right, shh, structure right, energy right, you feel right, you plant down to the ground, and the people push you left, hold it, not knock her out, let she feel the energy transfer back and forth. And the right, also the same. One hand on the shoulder, one hand on the hip, and push steadily. Hold for one minute. And rest. The front is very difficult because you have no way to get energy. You need practice to get transfer the front. The front has to zigzag down this way. Okay? So you put on the the, el the ankle here, the, uh, the wrist here, the wrist. One hand on here, and one hand on here, and push steadily. Usually, usually in this position, the people are very hard, but you need to practice until you know how to transfer the force. Your spine will be adjust and feel the force transfer. Hold for a minute. Beautiful energy build up, okay? Get a partner and practice. Just see a little bit. Your scalp right is not round enough. That's it. The shoulder drop down. That's it. That is the best position. You see that? You feel the energy sink down. You see? Feel your second spot it down. Feel your head go up this way. And your chin too a little bit this way. That's it. And your hand go this way. You see? You feel an energy started to flow in the circle. Now, feel your lower center, your center going low. Now you can push it. <laughs> Tell you the embracing the tree. Embracing the tree story. This is a true story. One time, one martial art master is so powerful, nobody wants to fight with him. He's so powerful, nobody wants to fight. So finally, he said, I don't want to teach, I don't want to fight anybody. So he closed the door, I don't want to fight. So, but a lot of people come to see him and say, Master, you must teach me, Master, you must teach me, and I will come. So much. And he come out, he said, nobody can learn, I don't want to teach. So people come and go, come and go. And later on, the master noticed one young man, always staying there. So he come out and say, hey, what happened? I tell him, I don't want to teach, because all of you cannot teach, learn it. He said, I will stay here until you teach me. He said, I don't think you can learn it. So he closed the door, go back. Again, people come out again, knock on the door, he come out, see that man again. The people go and gone, he's still there. So after a few years, still see the man there. <laughs> yeah? So he come out and said, you really want to learn? He said, yes. If I tell you to do something, will you do it? He said, yes. You see that tree over there? That tree is so small like this. That time. Go and put that tree for me, and I will teach you. So this man, oh, that better than nothing. Is that so he said, okay, I will pull that tree. So he go there, get a tree, try to grab the tree. You don't know what to do. He said, just grab the tree and pull. He grab the tree this way and pull and all these things. He pull it one year, two years, and finally he find out that it's not work that way. And he gradually find out a way to hack a tree. So he learned a way to hack a tree. But three, four, five years, the tree getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> no? Five, six, seven, eight years again, tree getting bigger and bigger and bigger every day. So finally he says, my God, nearly 10 years, and I still cannot pull that tree. And he really tell me that if I don't pull that tree, the master don't take, teach me. I have to pull that tree. So he, every day, every day, every day, the whole day, and I try to pull that tree. And the tree is getting bigger. And one day, his body changed after 10 years. So much power and energy, and the body changed, and the energy is full with light balloon, because every day he pull that tree. <laughs> So one day is so determined the beast this big now. So I have to pull that tree, otherwise I'm gonna stay here forever. It's go there to determine it, grab the tree, 
for example, she's a tree. So she grab, go in there, and he get everything right. What you learn, what what you learn here. But he taking ten years to, to get it, everything right, and he grab the tree with the chest and go this way, and in have and he pull a tree. In actually pull a tree, you know, and he throw a tree. I said, my God, I pull a tree. So he walk the dog on the door. The master said, Master, 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 I pull that tree already. So master look at us, oh good, go home. <laughs> he said, master, you tell me to pull that tree? After 10 years, you tell me to go home. <laughs> so, what do you want? If you can pull that tree, who's going to fight you? <laughs> and she said, oh, right. <laughs> who's going to fight me? If I can pull that tree that big, who's going to fight me? So he said, oh, thank you, Master. He left. And he go into the, go into the martial art circle, in the bullying, we call bullying. Nobody going to find him. Come to come in, because he develop, develop an iron shirt, energy so much. People come in, bang him, bum, they bow out. He grab the person, 30 feet away. You know? If he hug a person, it's worse than a, a bear hug. Everything's gone. And nobody going to find him. And that's all. It's a real story that he do it every day, just that one night, and nobody find. The same thing as holding on the golden urn. Okay. In the olden time, the soldier have to hold the urn. In one, in the olden time, that the uh, uh, the emperor believed that um, that uh, the fire and the incense have to burn all the time. If they stop, and the people have to hold it. A live person or anything had to hold it to get the incense flow. Otherwise, the emperor is going to go on. You see? So they make a soldier in ship to hold an urn. And whoever dropped the urn, they cut the head off. So each one have a ship three to four hours. So you hold the urn and let it burn that way. And you cannot hold that one for 10 or 20 minutes. You know? They keep on changing. So they find a way to push the urn up and change this way. When it's 10 minutes, or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, they're too tight, they push the urn up and they change the position. And they keep on changing position, they can go on for hours. And that's how the, the holding of the golden urn comes from. The holding golden urn be, uh, divide into yang position and jin position. The whole secret is this. You have to go, this is yang position. Okay? You, if you do this way, they're not, if you, if you, if you do this, you have to hold here, hold here, and tilt up. You activate the tendon of the pinky finger. The tendon of pinky finger connecting all the way to the pinky toes. So the line from here, the line from here all the way down to the pinky toes, it around in the pinky finger around the ear, and the line of energy go to that pinky toes. And that is the one. When you turn this way, and this is the important part, the people are going to turn this way. Don't get forced. But when you turn this way, you get forced. You hold the elbow, hold the wrist, and flex the tendons. Hold here. Because let on in while we're pushing. Okay? You in while we're pushing here, so you flex the tendon out to me. Or in while with this pushing. He flex the tendon and push his tendon. So the whole tendon line goes down to the feet. But if she goes this way, she has no force, I push her to fall. But if she goes this way, she has the force. I push from here. From here. See that? See the difference? Okay? Now the breathing is very simple. It's packing. So I show you the breathing. It's what we learned already. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, the yang position. The hand is the shoulder height. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, left and right kidney. Inhale, push down. Inhale, pull up. Inhale, pull up front, middle, back, second, two, all, all, one breath out. Inhale, T11. Inhale, C7. Inhale, best of scout. Up to the crowd. Exhale. Let the energy come down.
So we don't go to the feet, but when you pull up the perineum, you draw the energy in the feet up. Okay? So we are so we are doing this way all the way to the ground and all the way up. So you involve this way. And you draw the picture on the side way for you. And now the feet is this way. So you pack the kidney, you inhale, push the energy down, inhale, put the energy up to the sacrum, T11, C7, base scalp crown, that's all. And when you exhale, you draw the energy down in the microcosm again. You pull up the same and the testicle breathing up to the head and let the energy down. Okay? Let's stand up and do it. Spread your pinky finger out and press and put the finger power, okay. put your power on the fin pinky finger. Are you ready? In out, exhale, in out, exhale, 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 exhale. The hand is not this way, it's this way. Okay? In out, pull up left and right kidney. And now push the ball down. And now pull up the perineum. And now pull up the front, middle, back, second, tilt. Inhale, T11. Inhale, C7. Inhale, base of scalp. Exhale, inhale up to the crown. Hold it. Exhale. Turn your hand out. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Feel the energy come down to the front, come down to the front. You can stand as long as you, you want. In this position, you draw so much energy to the palm. Yeah. Energy just come down right to you. Just the open to a cosmic energy, and it just pour right into your palm. When you spread out the thumb, the thumb light from the thumb all the way uh, to here, to the sternum all the way down to the navel and spread on the perineum down to the big toes. And that is the thumb line. Okay? And you can stand as long as you want, five, ten minutes. Rest, put the hand in the navel. Collect the energy. The exercise is extremely powerful for tendons exercise. So you have to flick this way and put the hand right on the wrist, okay? So when you push on the wrist, she flick the power out, so she exercise the tendons. And the whole tendon line is going to flow from here all the way down to the pinky toes. And you put the hand on here and push steadily. And exhale. The same thing. So you put left and right. And the same thing, you see here, when you turn in this way, okay, you push right this angle. Okay? If you do this way, you have no force. But if you do this way, you have force. When I push this way, you push from here, a tendon line, push again me, and I push again on here. The same thing in this way. So you're pushing, pushing right on here like this, right on the wrist, and put it on the hip. Turn. You see here? Right on here. You cannot push on here, it's no force. You have to turn and turn this way. You get the force there. And you push there, the force from first to the ground. Okay. The next one is the fun one we call turtle and buffalo. <laughs> turtle and buffalo. It gives you a lot of force. And this one, nobody can stand up to 10 or 15 minutes. Five minutes is a lot. Finally, it's about one minute in the beginning is a lot. The turtle and buffalo is involved with a low structure and a six sack of force. And involved with the buffalo breathing right in the goy area. Okay, so I show you the turtle. 
Inhale, exhale, the same breathing again. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, pull up. Inhale. So the chest has to be round. Okay? And lower down this way. Feel like a table. If you have a problem, you can go on the, on the chair this way. Okay? So, your elbow press against the knee. And your head straight. Now, we're going to breathe in. Inhale, pull up. Front, middle, back, second, tilt. Inhale, T11. Inhale, C7. Inhale, best of scalp. Expand your neck. Expand your back. Inhale, up to the crown. <coughs> Exhale. This one is the buffalo. This is turtle. So the buffalo is involved with buffalo breathing. So very important, especially for ladies. The energy shoot right down to the base and opening the groin. The groin is open. If you, this one, will, some people will feel dizzy. So slowly close the eyes. And stand up. Okay? Now, if you have back, high back pressure, go easy. Okay? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. 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 Inhale. Pull up your left and right kidney. Straight. The back has to be straight. Not this way. The back straight. Now inhale. Down. Now lower down your knee. Press your elbow again your knee. Inhale. Pull up. Front, middle, back, second. Inhale, T11, expand the chi belt. Inhale, C7, expand your neck. Inhale to your base of scalp. Inhale up to the head. Exhale. Put your hand down, look up. Buffalo breathing. Now slowly stand up, close your eye, put your feet together, collect the energy in your navel. The breathing is the same, okay? Let's do one small. The breathing is the same, okay? So I show you on this side. Breathing. Get your hands straight, and you only move your hand, don't move this way. Are you ready? Exhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull up left right kidney. Inhale, down. Press again your knee. Inhale, pull up. Front, middle, back, second. Inhale. Pull up to your T11. Expand the chi belt. Feel your whole body expand. Inhale. Up to the T11. Inhale. Expand your neck and up into your, your base of scalp. Inhale up to the crown. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. But buffalo breathing. Slowly close your eyes. Stand up. Put your hand in your navel. And collect, put your feet together, and collect the energy. This is very, very strenuous exercise. It gives you a lot of rooting power. 
okay and uh, let's sit down when you get this position make sure check that the partner structure is right like table okay so you put one hand on the shoulder one hand on the hip and put push this way and hold for at least one minute and rest and now sometimes they can rest we can get to the, the other side Okay. Now, just check that the it's light table, and expand on the side, and put the hand here. Push steadily. Exhale. Now the front is the harder one again. The front, you need to practice a lot how to zigzag the frost down to the ground. Okay? Now. Okay. My Max is very good. Max, you want to come here? Do that? Come here. <laughs> okay, Toto. Lower down your shoe. Yeah, that's good. Okay. More on the shoulder. That's it. How about front? Okay. More. More force. That's it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, let's do it. If I find the sip part lower a little bit, right. push it, put the chin down. All the way long here. Try to dilate the force on the other side. Ready? <laughs> the next one we call a phoenix washing the feather. <laughs> this is the a little bit harder one, <coughs> but it's all in what we organ exercise. <coughs> all in what we exercise. So the phoenix is working this way. I show you first. So you now exhale, you now exhale, 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 you now. So you inhale, pull up left and right, and pull up to the kidney. Okay? Now you, you hold it back in the kidney. And next one, we're going to inhale, pull up to the liver. So you inhale. At the same time, contract the muscle right under the ribcage and pull up the anus to the kidney, to the liver. Okay? So you inhale. And you pull up the left side to the spleen. <coughs> contract. This one and pull up the left side to the spleen. So you at home when you practice, you should go one by one. The kidney first, and when you feel you can do the kidney, go up to the liver and the spleen. Okay? And the third breathing is into the lungs. Inhale, it's involved this way to the lungs. And roll the, this energy up this way and pull up. So the exercise to do to go into the lung is like this. Inhale, hold the breath. It's not like a ball, rolling up, push to the lung, and relax down. Roll up, push to the lung, relax down. And you will feel the lung. So when you practice it, you inhale, kidney, inhale, the liver, inhale, spleen, inhale, roll the energy all the way to the lung by pulling left and right kidney, and left and right anus to the lung. Now the heart is the harder one, it's the last one. You inhale, squeeze your anus, Okay? And pull up to this part first and inhale. On here only. Different from the lung. The lung is this side. 
The heart is right on here. And inhale. Roll from here up to the heart. From the middle anus. Squeeze the anus, pull up to the heart. Exhale. Chest. Chin push the back, chest in. Inhale. Squeeze the anus, pull up tighter. Inhale. Push the pinky finger in the middle. Inhale. 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 Exhale. Spread your toes. Spread your finger. Pull up your sexual organ. Tilt the back this way. And split out your tongue. So it's going to be like this. Okay? Let's do it. <laughs> Let inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 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 inhale. Left and right kidney. Now inhale, liver. Inhale, spleen. If you can do it. Inhale, lung. Exhale. Chin push to the back. <coughs> Chest in. Inhale. 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 Exhale. To the side. Turn your hand this way. Now, pull up the sexual organs. Spread your toes and your finger. And spread your tongue out. <sighs> Take your hand and leg. You see here, if she connect herself right, okay? Chest sink, chin right. When I hit her, her force is going to transfer to the ground. Okay? So you see here. If she don't do it right, the chin not right, the scalp round not connect. The connecting that means the scalp round round. When you do like this, the scalp round not connecting. But when you sink your chest, the scalp round round, you don't touch, you cannot find the scalp round on the back. And that we call connecting. When you're connecting, the force transfer to the spine, but you not connecting, the force stuck right in the scalp round, you get pain. Now if you do like this, the force is going to go to her scalp round and going to go forward this way. And you get fall because the force is right stuck in the scalp round. But if she... Do this way, the force from force to ground, and her scalp route don't take the force. So you see here? Okay. The next exercise is involved if she put her structure right, you can lift, I can lift her up straight this way. Okay? So the, the right one is the chest sink, the scapula connect, and the hand connect to the body. And you have to do it, put your leg in the between and hold this way. Okay? And you can leap up. Because she connects herself right, a lot of people will frighten. So we don't want to practice this. People will frighten in the beginning until you, uh, and when you leap up, they hurt the shoulder. Okay? When people are fighting, you cannot leap it up. The nervous, the scapula loose, and you can leap and hurt on the scapula. But when the people wear it connecting, you can lift up. <clears throat> the iron bridge in the wild do it right. It's about shoulder width. And in wild width are bending on a lower lumbar. Bending on a lower lumbar. Now, the hand have to be do this way. The hand have to be do this way. See? Holding this way. In while we're connecting the kidney energy. So if you bend this way, you're going to wrong, you're going to get hurt in the long term. When you bend this way, you're going to get hurt. Because your spine is like a whole tree going to fall in down. But you bend, you, your legs straight, the knees straight, and you bend from the lumbar, you will stretch the fascia from the chest and the fascia from here. And when you pull your neck this way, your fascia, whole fascia, it, Activate. And when you come back, 
the energy flows so much. It's my favorite when you sit working on a computer. Because you feel so tired and energy don't flow. And I just do this one half a minute or one minute. I feel energy. The Iron Chi Qigong is so practical, I, do, I like a lot. Uh, like when I drive in car, I always pack my kidney. When I feel tired, and pack away, exhale. I feel refreshed. And I keep on drawing. People, when you sit too long, the blood, you like I said, build up and you feel sleepy. Because the kidney don't work, it's too tight. But when you know the pick and squeeze the kidney, you feel refreshed. So the hand this way, and come to the back, not touching the back, just watch first, don't touching the back, but in the kidney area. Okay? The finger nearly touch, but not touching the, the back, nearly touch. And now, bend from the lumbar, not bend from the knee. Bend from the lumbar, and bend the back, head back, this way. No packing. Very easy, no packing. Exhale. Just turn down this way. You no need to touch the floor. If you really need to touch the floor, you can just bend your knee a little bit. Okay? And knee touch. A lot of people try to push themselves to touch the floor, and the knee go back this way and hurt the tendon. There's no way. No, no need to do it. And rest normally. Okay? Let's do it. This is very easy, but a lot of stretching for the spine, for the for the stri- uh, for the for the fascia layer. A lot of fascia energy stretching. The hand this way. Breathe normally. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Bend down. From the lumbar region, not from the knee. The knee must be straight. Your knee must straight. Exhale. Bend back and stay there as long as you want. It's beautiful to stay back. Rest. Okay? Remember, don't bend from your knee, bend from your lumbar. And this one gives you so much energy, just do a few times, uh, just a few half, and, uh, half a minute, you go back to work. Excellent. Really, very good. I, I, I really recommend. It's a lot of position you can do anytime you want. Again, <clears throat> your knee is about shoulder width, and your leg is about shoulder width. Inhale, bend back, <coughs> your neck pull a little bit back so you feel a fascia stretch from the front and the back. Now, slowly coming back, You can stay on this position very long. It's excellent, very excellent. Okay? Rest. In the Iron Chi Qigong, you know, all this Iron Chi Qigong is like this. You can choose one or two positions and do it. You don't have to do it all. Today do embracing a tree. Tomorrow do holding gold iron. The Wednesday do turtle, buffalo. And the Thursday do the phoenix. And the fly they do the um, uh, the uh, iron bridge, and the last one Saturday do the iron bar. That's all. You don't have to do it every day. Only that do it. That's all. Okay. The exercise is extremely powerful for the lower back. This in this position she very weak on the back, so you have to be careful. You press on here and push down, and she try to push up. And push one hand on the back in case she falling down. Because in this position, she's very weak on the back. Rest. Now going down. 
in this position, she has more force than me. So I'm going to push down, and she's going to come up a little bit, and we're going to hold that way. So I push down as much as I can, and she try to come up, and she's going to exercise in this lower lumbar. People have so much weak lumbar, and this is the good exercise to exercise the lumbar here. Okay? This, both, both of them, it exercise the lumbar and stress the fascia and the energy flow and the back strengthening. All the IMG Qigong that we do when you inhale, pull up to the sacrum, inhale, pull up to the T11, you strengthening the weak part every day. All this part is a weak part. The neck, the best scalp, the T11, where the people get all the problem from. But when you inhale, 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 you strengthen it, okay? Like the last one is in what we call the iron bar. The iron bar apparently is in what with you putting your body on your on your neck, and the other part is on the toe uh, on your heel. But don't do it in the beginning; you can get hurt on the neck. Do it on the shoulder first. So the way to do it, he like this one. So sit down on the floor. The first thing. Push yourself up, the left, put the left leg up, and the right leg up, and the left leg up. Now push your body up and put the and put the leg together and tilt a little bit this way. And now stay there and breathe normally. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. The only problem is don't fall asleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay? So you can stay there for a few minutes. And breathe normally. Breathe normally. He's good enough to move, uh, get on the neck. But usually you should put on the on the shoulder this way. So you don't and when you gradually good enough, you move to the neck this way. Okay? You see how long you can get on the neck? Now when you finish, the first thing is put your hand down first. Okay? And lo slowly lower your body down. Put your neck, uh, leg up and the other leg down and sit down. Okay? Let's do one small. Let's do one more. <laughs> the first thing, push your body, uh, get your leg up. One, two, push your body up. And one body should be whole on the head. If you're at home, put the head on the wall. And this one can be adjusted. And hold it like this and breathe normally. And Try to pull higher. That's it. Breathe normally. Can Bobby sit on? <laughs> okay, now, rest, put your hand down. Put your leg down one. The other leg down two. And sit down. Don't try to drop down your coccyx. Boom! On the floor. Okay? This one is excellent for adjusting your spine. So you, if you look carefully like this, you put your spine stacking this way, but instead of that, you put your spine this way. You see? And the cavity started to adjust it. The cavity started to adjust this way, pushing down one by one. So push down this way. Oftentimes people, it's this way. So the force stacking down this way. And with the, lower, the lower one getting more force. So we have a bigger lumbar. It's lucky we have bigger lumbar. You know, if we have a smaller lumbar, we're going to get big trouble up to... When you get a little bit heavy weight, you get big trouble. All the lumbar gone. You see? But if you do this way, the spine started to adjust itself in a very beautiful way. You know? And it stretches your spine out, and the guard deep do the work. <laughs> So we finish all the uh, Iron Church Qigong. Uh, let me review to you very quick review, okay, what we learned today. The first thing you have is embracing the tree. So you now exhale, you now exhale, exhale, exhale. You now push the ball down, you now pull up, exhale down to the ground. Bone breathing. When you're ready, Exhale again, exhale again, exhale again, inhale, pull up, 
left leg kidney, push the ball down, pull up the perineum. Inhale, draw the energy from the earth up to the soul, hold it. If you need spiral, you can spiral or hold the energy, draw the energy. Inhale up to the knee, inhale up to the perineum, pull up and push down, exhale. Now we're going to bring up to the spine. When you're ready, exhale, exhale, inhale, pull up to the left and right kidney, inhale, pull up, push the ball down and pull up, and inhale, pull up front, middle, back, second, two. Inhale, up to the T11, expand the chi belt. Inhale, up to the C7, expand the neck. Inhale, up to the neck, up to the crown, exhale, let the energy flow down this way. And now exhale, and now exhale, and exhaust the energy. That is, that is called embracing the tree. The next one we call the, the holding the golden urn. So the major part is the chest sink, chin push, hand go this way. Not higher, not go this way. Shoulder width. And now exhale, exhale, exhale. Pull up left and right kidney. And now push the ball down. And now pull up front, middle, back. Second, two. In our T11, in our C7, best of scout, crowd, exhale, turn. Let the energy flow down. Okay? That is uh, holding the golden arm. The next one is the turtle. When you get yourself ready, when you get yourself ready, inhale, exhale, 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 inhale, inhale. Now, push again your knee, in up, pull up front middle, back second, two, T11, expand, left ball, inhale to your neck, and call the turtle neck, inhale to the crown, exhale, buffalo breathing, slowly stand up, collect energy, every time collect energy. And when you finish one, walk and rock and brush down. So the energy don't stuck in the chest. The next one is Phoenix washing the feather. We're going to pack the energy to the, kit, the organ. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, pop the kidney. Inhale, liver. Inhale, left and right, liver and spleen. Inhale, lung. Inhale, heart in the middle, anus. Exhale. In out, in out, in out, exhale. Spread out, spread out, and pull up the sexual organ tight. Spread till you this way, spread your tongue. Okay. And the next one is iron bridge. So when you're ready, in out, bend from the lumbar region. Exhale. And the last one is iron bar. So iron bar in one with two share. If you stay at home and you do it yourself, the, the head is on the wall. And the leg can be adjust. So sit on the floor first. The first thing, get your leg up. And the next one up. Push your body and go up. Put your leg together, point it that way. When you finish, lower your hand down first. Put your leg in, down, put your leg down, sit on the floor. Get up. Sit and collect energy for a while. Okay. That's all. If you do it regularly, I know you're going to get a lot of power and energy. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.